Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So today I am going to go over my favorites for the month of April and I'm going to start out with face products. So first of all, I loved, loved, loved this Dior BB cream. Um, it's their Hydrolife BB cream. I know that they also make a BB cream that is the, their snow collection. I'm not 100% sure um, what it's called, but I know it's a BB cream also. So I'm not sure the difference, but this one has been great. Um, I like the color of it works out perfectly for me. It only comes one shade, so it works perfect for my skin. Um, it just sits really nice on the skin. It does require a little bit of powder on top of it, um, but I, after using this for a week, I noticed that like my skin looked a lot more radiant, so I love this stuff. So this is an absolute favorite. Then this month I also found the Shantikai um, company and their face products are amazing. So this is my absolutely new favorite foundation. I'm going to say that it might be like my favorite foundation ever. I'm wearing it right now and it's the Future Skin Foundation and I'm the color Shea in it. I do have swatches of these things on my blog if you ever want to look. Um, you can go to my blog by going to lorianestanick.com. I'll post a link below. Um, I loved their powder too. I'm not a big, big fan of pressed powder. Like, I for some reason I like loose powder better. But the way that the Chantecaille powder, um, it's just so velvety and silky and smooth. Something about it is just perfect. So I've loved both of these products. Um, another products I thought were worth mentioning this month were the Tom Ford brushes, particularly the cheek brush. Um, he doesn't make a face powder brush, which I wish he did, but this is probably the nicest brush I have ever used on my face. Um, I use, sometimes I'll put it on my powder on with this brush, but definitely like my cheek products and everything, hands down the best brush I've ever used. So um, his eyeshadow brushes are really nice too, but this is like definitely like the standout brush is the cheek brush. So I thought I'd mention that. And then um, I also, because I like the Dior BB cream so much, I went to the Dior counter um, for some new skincare products. So my new skincare line at night is um, a majority Dior products, including this, which is their eye cream. Um, and I will post what it's called down below because I'm not even going to uh, just, I'm not going to butcher that right now. But this eye cream, um, my eye problems, I don't really have eye problems, but... Um, I wanted something that like maybe like produced a little bit more like collagen in the eyes, not something that helped with puffiness because I don't get puffy under my eyes. And um, usually they eye creams help with dark circles and puffiness. And this one um, is supposed to kind of produce collagen and you can actually put it on the lids of your eyes um, because it's an uplifting one. And I've really liked it so far. So I enjoyed that. Um, I've really liked this this month too, which is the Origin Sunshine State um, Face and Body Sunscreen. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I tried to look online to see if I could tell you, but because I walk outside almost every day, um, I need some kind of sun protection. So uh, I like to either spray my body or I like, because my body felt a little dry, I decided to use this. And what's nice about it is it doesn't smell like sunscreen. It almost has kind of like a mint smell to it, and it kind of leaves your body with a really kind of pretty shimmer. Your skin, your face ends up having a little bit of a shimmer to it too, um, which I don't mind, but um, other people might. But I really like this, so I hope they continue to make it, but um, I enjoyed it this month. And then as far as eyes, I've been really liking um, putting a flesh tone color in my waterline. I used to do it a long time ago, and then I got lazy, and I stopped doing it. But this one in particular is by Cargo. This one is actually a lip liner, um, but I just use it in my waterline. It's a really pretty, just kind of nude color. Worked out really nicely for me. And the eyeshadows I liked that I thought were mentionable this month. Soft Brown by MAC. This is a great Oliver base color, just really nice. Um, handwritten is probably the perfect kind of crease color. It's really good. Um, and then by Smashbox, this color is so nice. It's called Cinnamon Toast. It's just a really pretty bronzy color. The consistency of this is amazing. Um, I know at like Ulta and Sephora they only sell um, this eyeshadow in a set of three, um, but you can get this on uh, Smashbox's website, um, just an individual color, which is completely worth it. And then lips. 
I really liked this Buxom lip gloss. Um, this is actually White Russian, which I just got, but um, the color Creamsicle is really nice, which is kind of similar to the color I have on right now by Dior, but this is probably, like, I love this lip gloss. I just got this the other day, so I can't say it's my monthly favorite, but uh, this is probably one of the best lip glosses I've ever used, and it's the Dior Lip Polish in 001. And then this lipstick by Tom Ford that I've managed to a little bit demolish a little bit in Nude Vanilla is an awesome, awesome color. I love this. So this is a monthly favorite as well. And then a couple other favorites this month. I've been really liking my camera, which is the Leica VLUX 3. I love this camera. I've been taking it everywhere with me, so when I go out or anything, I usually have it with me, wrapped on me like so, and then I take pictures of certain things. And I've been posting pictures lately on my blog, um, and I think I'm going to do it a lot more often because I have a lot of fun taking pictures. And then lastly, um, I really have liked these shoes this month. They are by a company called LD Tuttle. And they're really cute on because they um, they look kind of like a little bit of a faux boot. And so whenever you wear like a skinny jean or something, it tucks really nicely in it. Um, it's just really kind of the perfect shoe. It does give me like a little bit of a blister every time I wear it on my toe. Um, but they just are really cute. And they have like a little bit of a heel, which is nice. Uh, it's just perfect. They are the perfect shoe because they're not a boot. So they're not going to make you like super hot. But... I don't know. I love them. I just think they're really cute shoes. So that's it for now. I would love to know down below what some of your favorite things for the month have been. Um, or if you have products that you think I should try out, let me know. Okay, bye.